Whoa. Oh, welcome to Stereo 3D Plays. And this first impressions video of Outer Wilds in VR. This is giving me Valheim VR vibes, by the way. It looks like right out of the box, this worked right away. I don't even think I'm gonna need to go over a setup or anything. Now, even though this is really simple to do, easy, takes two seconds, I got in here in no time, I will tell you how to get this set up for yourselves if you wanna play this in VR. Uh, the first step, is to get the Outer Wilds Mod Manager. So I'm gonna show that on the screen right now, and there's gonna be a link in the description to get that tool. And go ahead and install and run that tool with the game installed on your PC beforehand, of course. And from there, you can actually search for the three mods we're gonna be installing today. Now, only one is required for the VR, but I got two extra recommendations. First, the Vanilla Fix Mod. So I went ahead and installed that one first. Then I search for the Nomai VR mod. That's the main VR mod that's gonna enable what you're looking at right now on my screen. And finally, there's the Nomai VR FFR mod, which is gonna help with NVIDIA GPU performance. So I went ahead and got that one. And the um, I have to give credit for the Vanilla Fix and the FFR mods. Uh, this was recommended to me by my friend Alexei Hero Dev. Um, his name is Alex, basically, or Schizo Alex. I actually participated in last year's uh, Neurosama birthday game jam with him. We actually won our entry. It was actually number one. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna link his stream in the description of this video. I'm gonna go check him out. He actually does some programming um, for some game mods that actually interact with the Neurosama AI streamer. So it's pretty awesome to watch. Um, highly recommend. Right now, that's it. It's that simple. Once you've installed the three mods, go ahead and hit the run game button and you will be launching Outer Wilds in um, what seems to be Steam VR right now. So I'm fresh in. I don't know how to do the additional parameters. I would like to eventually run this directly through Oculus runtimes if it's possible. But I'm just going in today because first off, it seems to run very well. Second off, I'm gonna have access to FPS VR to monitor performance. And lastly, I'm just gonna get to experience the game because there's a whole thing around this game. <laughs> there's nothing in this scene right now. This is not a just performance analysis. I will do some as I get into this game. I will try to make sure that this does not distract me. I have not run this on the desktop. I went straight into VR with the mod, just the way I showed you how to do. And that's what we're gonna run today. I'll visit the options and show you what's relevant there when I see it. Uh, but for the most part, we're just diving into the game. Fixed foveated rendering. That's interesting. That that is, that's very interesting. Okay, cool, cool, cool. As long as you know. So when you're navigating the menu, if you don't know how to scroll, it's kind of weird. I'm pointing with my right hand, but it's the left stick that scrolls. So if you get stuck with that, um, go ahead and... Holy shit! How many VR options are there? Look at this. So if you go in mods, and then you go to mods, and then you go to know my VR, look at the amount of options here. This is... This is impressive. I don't even know where to start. I just want to make sure that I have a uh, fluid locomotion. Maybe, wow, G gesture tutorials. What are you fucking kidding me? This, there's no way this is a mod. Okay, I gotta take a pause for a moment. Okay, we're gonna be careful with this. I was gonna say it's running lightning fast. Not according to this. This is, this is being pushed to the very limit. Look at the resolution I'm running at. That is a very high resolution, so that, that will be normal. And there's a little bit of shimmer in the graphics. I, I wanted to crank it up a little bit, crank it up, baby. But no, this is, this is gonna be fine. This is also one of the reasons why I'd like to see if I can get this eventually running directly through Oculus. Um, no, there's no way. 
There's no fucking way. There's, there's no way. Oh my god. What? This, this, this is not a mod. This is made by the studio themselves. You guys are lying to me. You guys are punking me. You'll need to get the launch codes from the Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. So I am gonna edit out the dialogue in these playthroughs uh, because the video would be just ungodly long and I kind of want to focus on the visuals and the VR experience of it in the first impressions. And I'm just taking a closer look at the character on the campfire. This is, this looks amazing. This very much looks amazing. Oh, and there's a day-night cycle. Will you look at that? Wow. Nice. Not bad. have this whole fucking town center and these things orbiting around me. I kind of know the visual style of this game. I have seen other people play it briefly, but I've not had any spoilers, believe it or not. I don't think you're going to catch anything down there. Your line is caught in the, um... Your, um... You're trying to fish the bottom is what I'm trying to tell you. Actually, what's funny is he's reeling in and his bait is not moving. Yeah, you're stuck in the bottom. You got a multi-hook setup going and you're, you're... You're not doing too good, buddy. I must fully disclose that I actually enabled Oculus Air Links sliced encoding for this session, which is kind of piles on to the fixed foveated rendering of this game, the mod that I installed. Uh, so what's really interesting here is the sliced encoding of Airlink is causing all sorts of glitches in my view every five, 10 minutes. Um, kind of sucks. I think I realize why now that they ship it with the sliced encoding disabled. It's actually glitchy as fuck. I'm gonna use it for the session. It's not completely ruined anything so far, but uh, I, I just need to note that sometimes it just garbles a, a segment of my view. Most often, the lower third of my view just becomes all garbled. This is crazy. What a great view. And here comes the sun again with that song. Oh, that's interesting. There's an actual center, but the player doesn't move with the center. And does the rotation do the same thing as Portal 2? Actually, not really, because they kind of automatically recenter you when you move too far out of your play center. That's very interesting. Fuck is this? That's a camera? Okay. Aim camera with right stick and B to take a snapshot. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Let's actually go try this out. So far, all I can say is I'm uh, practically speechless as to how this does not look like a non-VR game. This is really so far a very VR specific title and there's there's a few things I'll want to see actually about this so Do we get what the hell? Whoa Zero G cave Do I have to take anything here suit up? Ooh. Left trigger, okay Whoa. 
And what happens if I just... Whoa. Holy shit. Okay. Kind of wasn't using the direction. I tried to do this only on thrusters. There we go. Okay. Where's the third one? I can hear it. Wow, that was very cool. I presume I have to get out of here. Whoa. Somehow. Oh, wow, that's crazy. I am at the other end. <laughs> Okay, and that actually shoots me upward. Oop. A bit too high. Nice. Wow. Well, that was thrilling. That was absolutely thrilling. I actually am going to enjoy the uh, mechanics of this. The only thing I would say might be hardcore for VR newcomers, especially, is when you get that kind of sway when you hit something. It appears that the uh, character interacts with the environment. When you get to uh, an edge and you step back, there's a kind of bob motion that happens. Uh, that can be a little bit hardcore for someone who's not used to it. The game runs very decently. Now, I have to admit, I am at 72 hertz, but adversely, I'm also running at a very fucking high resolution. And the game's been running very, very well so far. I'm uh, quite pleased with the results. I haven't even touched the settings yet in terms of graphics. Whoa. Is this? Or, yeah, it is. Holy shit, it is. Holy fuck. That's very interesting. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Let me get the launch codes first. Because I see, I see something I'm going to have to get the hang of right now. <laughs> oh... Okay. Hey, can I have your telescope? Never mind the launch codes. Just give me your telescope. There you are. Just finished pre-flight observation. Local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. Planning to follow the footsteps. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be winging it, by the way. No, 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 we're not, we're not dying. In the... Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Very nice. Wow. Oh. Holy fuck, that is a hell of a map. I can move it. Well, it's a little bit hardcore when you rotate it. Can I? Yeah, I can. Holy shit. 
I wonder what this does. Yeah, there's Zoom. Holy fuck. Well, I'm impressed. I'm goddamn impressed. The map works really well for VR. Just the vertical rotation's a little weird, but it's not, it's not terrible. And freaking launch codes. Oh, look at that. I can't interact with this big boy, can I? We're nearly ready. Felix uh, finished the construction. Whoa, 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 whoa. Finished the construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Uh, with yeah, there we go. Fortunately, the Atter Atterrock's lack of atmosphere made calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume her research. And does this translate to anything? All right, so I, I kind of figured out the translation device is very simple wait please tell me i'm not stuck oh what the fuck what the fuck i thought i was stuck there for a second whoa there's no way this is a mod there's no way this is a mod that actually happened perfectly the only thing that was weird is it should have immediately said look this is a really good time to tell me look because i thought i was stuck in this corner here i pretty sure i should not expect that kind of jank from a game like this uh i'm pretty sure i will have no issues but for a moment i just my heart sank My ship's gonna have a bit of fuckiness. Here we go. To the top of the launch tower. Ooh. Things look very good in this thing. I've noticed there's some weird shadow behaviors. When you have a shadow that casts from a certain angle, it seems to affect the entire view. Oh, that's so cool. Is that gonna pass in front of the sun? Yeah, it's actually gonna have time to pass in front of the sun. I didn't actually see it happen. Oh, there's some things trailing behind the sun. What are those? Ah, oh, there's, there's also a big... Wow. Oh, this is really cool. All right. Let's, let's get to business. Let's see how this part feels. Whoa. Okay. Hello? Suit up. I guess this is for when you go below surface. You should log. So I can do this and this to exit. Right now, there's probably not going to be much to see in my log. This, I don't know what this is. I guess it's the energy source. That's my suit. Have anything here? Okay, so this is really just you suit up and I guess you end up carrying your inventory with you. And, yep, the game from this standpoint is starting to demand a lot in terms of performance. Whoa, there's like asteroids falling on that planet above. Okay, let's get ready. Um, I'm just going to stand in my center. I could actually... I may want to inverse the pitch axis. I really wish this could be reversed. I'll, I'll deal with it for now. I'll live. Ooh, I keep going the wrong way with it. Whoa.
There we go. There we go. This is giving me Elite Dangerous vibes. I decided to go on autopilot for now because I'm still getting the hang of the orbital mechanics and this place is pretty vast. I could be at this for hours. I'm just, I just want to see stuff right now, so I'm going to go ahead and cheat a little bit. Firing the retro rockets. So it basically just beelines for the object using the rear thrusters. All right, I got it. I was under the impression that the thrusters under the ship were stronger than the ones in the back, but uh, apparently not. I will say it's a real bummer that the um, that the rotation, the vertical rotation, is uh, inverse. I'm gonna take another look at that later uh, to see what I can do about it. Autopilot complete. Whoa. Uh. 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 Whoops. Hi. Whoa! Shit! What the fuck? Please! Oh, I actually... Can I actually leave here? Okay. Whoa. Before I repair it. What is this? Ooh, 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 ooh. This fucking rotation is, is actually... I really need this to be inverted. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get the fuck down. Get the fuck down. All right. How do I leave? Unbuckle. Holy... That does not look like a good place to get off from the ship. Oh my fuck. Actually, it might be, yeah. Whoa, 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 no, 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 Didn't want to do that. Damn it. Is it still broken? Well, it looks like it's still broken, but... Okay. Holy fuck. I did not expect to fly into this object. I wanted to go in the thing that was orbiting it, and uh, we're 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 just gonna go ahead and explore, shall we? Okay, please don't make me go back in this ship. Shit! Wait, the fuck? Uh oh. Oh. Holy fuck! I can't seem to be able to fly though. Holy shit. Where am I? Where did I fucking go? And why can't I fly? Holy shit. Are we able to get on top of this? Yes, we are. Ghost matter detected nearby. Is that it? I got no way off this rock.
I think I'm dead. Holy fuck. Whoa. Holy shit. Yo. That's really cool. Is that why the game has a, a bit of a performance demand? Deep Hourglass Twins. That's very interesting. There's a satellite. Oops. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Oh, is there? Um, oh, huh. okay. Okay. Let's uh, get out of here. Let's actually launch. Are you fucking kidding? Are you fucking kidding? This thing just tried to autopilot its way straight through the planet. <laughs> We need All right. You're not going to autopilot me through the sun, are you? You're going to autopilot me through the sun. Are you fucking kidding? That's close. Man, that was close. Man, that was close. Aha! There we go. This is going to go a lot better. I wanted to remap the roll mode. It opened this fucking thing. And I am unable to get out of this mode. I have to restart the game. That is unfortunate. First issue I run into today. And I don't even know if it's the mod's fault. Uh, look at this. I had made it all the way to this lovely object. And uh, yeah! Ah, let's try this again. Note to self, when you open the options, if you go in the controls and try to remap one, the cancel bind doesn't work. So you end up stuck in there permanently. And that is not good. So that's uh, the only issue I've discovered today, I must say. But if you were to do this, and then you go to options, and you go to controls, and you try to rebind any of these, you'll be stuck there, or at least so far I haven't found a way to get out of that. This rotation goes against every programmed method I have of 
of, of using flying vehicles or spacefaring vehicles. When you press down, it's supposed to go up. When you press up, it's supposed to go down. There is no other way to do flight controls. So now I think it's gonna fly me right into the sun if I do this right now. However, I can come. Oh no, it won't! Oh, I'm in line with it. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta be careful with this autopilot. It's a little crazy. It uh, it thinks you know you're invincible. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, to fly right into the sun. So earlier I had to like graze the sun and avoid it a little bit. Um, I'm noticing right now though, only my rotation works. So earlier I was just incredibly lucky, I guess, uh, because I did not actually strike it. It really looked like I was going to go through it. That's interesting. Hello, the thing doesn't look as dangerous as it seems from a distance. I'm going to check that out. Wait, I figured I would check something like this out first. I have no idea where to go. The, the game didn't say like, oh, uh, uh. Oh shit, okay. Uh, pitch velocity, there we go. Oh, okay. I just put it down. Let's see what the fuck that is. Or or do I stay in the ship? Maybe I stay in the ship. What's going on, man? Fucking tripping balls. I also can't see shit, Captain. This is interesting. I saw one of those red dots flying around earlier in open space. Oh. That doesn't sound very friendly. Oh shit, what the fuck? I think I just got my ass eaten. What the fuck? What? That was awesome! I just wish I had seen it. I got distracted by that light orb. And I was just like, oh man, I would have loved to see it face to face. This was really some good first impressions. And when it comes to the VR adaptation, I mean, this is by all means a full-fledged VR title. Uh, the performance has been nice, but I will remind folks that I am using an RTX 4080 and that the GPU usage has been high and it's been borderline for 72 Hertz. However, as you'll see come up in a moment on my window, my resolution is actually quite high. It's about 2.5K per eye, if I'm not mistaken, 2368 by 2576 per eye, which is a pretty badass resolution. So right off the bat, I mean, I'm pushing it and... and asking a lot of it. But that's it for now. You've been watching Stereo 3D Plays and this first impressions video of Outer Wilds, which is very, by the way, likely going to turn into a series. I will be coming back to this so you will be able to see my full experience through it. Uh, but for now, you know, I've, I've gotten the basics. I've gotten a hang of the ship. I'm trying to deprogram that notion that I have, that role, uh, is supposed to be inverse. So if I want to roll forward right now, I have to press down. This is so weird. That's not how pitch works, everyone. That's not how pitch works. Um, you know what? Here you go, bitch. Ha ha ha. At least I'm starting to figure out how to walk onto things, and there we go. I think I might have just found out... Velocity match, there we go. I, I might have just found out what I have to land on first, because this really does look like a a, a thing I'll want to land on. I don't know. I, I'm just going to let it sit under me. I guess... Bonk! There we go. That's, that's a landing! 
That's a landing. <laughs> landing modes. Okay. Uh, rebuttal. I uh, whooped the wrong button. This is gonna happen a lot. Okay. Our... Whoa, this is so cool. The object's so small that when it rotates, I kind of get the sensation that my ship is rotating. My ship is not rotating. Uh, are we gonna die? We're not gonna die. Oh, shit. Oh, we're on the far side now. Holy fuck, this is so cool. I can just walk on to the... Oh, boy. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of this. Oh. I see what they do. Oh, wow. What is this? Hello. This is uh, gonna be a special adventure. <laughs>